provision of vaccine to South Africans must include an equal effort to provide vaccines to all Africans, including those from poor countries, because administering vaccine only in South Africa, when our brothers and sisters in the African continent are not vaccinated, is meaningless. Vaccination and access to quality health care should be a human right, not privilege reserved for the rich and powerful. Let me tell you, Mr. President, our principle to support Africans who are here and all over the continent and in the diaspora will never be shaken by the so-called put South Africa first. We are Africans. There is nothing called South Africa. These borders were imposed on us by the nonsensical imperialists who knew that African unity will serve as a direct threat to imperialism and colonialism. If supporting Africans means we should lose vote, then so be it. If calling for vaccination of fellow African brothers and sisters means we lose these seats of parliament, let me go back to Masagane. I will not sit back and see Africans dying while South Africa can afford to vaccinate them because I want to vote. I call you and your so-called liberation movement that benefited a lot from Africa to rise and support the call of EFF to vaccinate all of Africa, particularly the poor countries that cannot afford, particularly uh, Southern Africa, because we are one community. Those borders that all of you speak about are imaginary. You look now, you opened the borders yesterday, uh, at the 15th, yet there was no stampede at the borders. What does it tell you? They were already here because your gates are imaginary. They exist only in your not so big head. 